What are you watching this video on right now? Well, chances are it has a battery, and that battery comes from China. Increasingly, they're playing a key role in the electrification of our fleets, our cars, our buses, and our trucks. And there's one company that's world leader. Welcome to CATL, the world's biggest battery manufacturer, for an exclusive behind the scenes look of the factory. In the previous episode, we discussed the four key moves that enabled China's EV industry to take off. But the real engine behind China's dominance is its battery leadership. So, today. We're here at CATL's Z factory, and we're here to find out how to turn this bag of powder, lithium and magnesium and other metals into this. It's not simply a case of pouring it in there. Oh no, it's a very complex process. We're gonna find out right now how they do it. So I'm all suited and booted. We are ready to go into the factory. We're going into the cathode room. We're going to get the dust blown off me. It's taken us about two years to get to this point. So I'm really, really excited. So let's take you inside the battery factory. Now at this point, the battery is basically split into two sections and there's an anode room and a cathode room. So the cathode is in this room and the anode is in another room and they're mixing all the chemical materials together depending on what battery they're making today. So it's called a slurry, so it could be uh, magnesium, it could be some cobalt, it could be some nickel. It's all being mixed together in these massive tanks behind me. After this, it's going to go into this really thin paste and that really is the beginning of how you make a battery. But this is the very, very first step and all of the chemicals are being all mixed together in the tanks behind me. This is one of the most exciting parts of the process here. These thin metal sheets, they are less than 0.14 micron thick, about half the width of a human hair. And this is going underneath my feet onto the machine here where they're gonna be coated in the slurry that we saw earlier. Now, this machine is gonna to monitor to see if there's any imperfections, because any imperfections in this means there's imperfections in the battery and could cause issues later on. So it's a really important part of the process we're about to see what this finished product looks like just in a minute. Sorry to interrupt your video, but I just want to thank you for discovering our tiny channel in the vast YouTube universe. The world often feels divided, broken into pieces, but that's exactly why we started this channel. To build a bridge between the East and the West and share a deeper understanding of both sides. Every week, we'll bring you videos just like this one. If you find value here, why not join us on this journey? Subscribe, and let's grow and have fun together. Here in the gigantic headquarters, there's a huge amount going into research and development. This is the birth of a battery. These massive rolls have got the liquid slurry on top already. So this is like the, the chemicals are on here already, ready to make it into the jelly roll battery. Now at this point, you'll see that it's being split and the ears have been cut. The ears, those are the anodes and the cathodes which will connect to the outside. Now it's being split in this matter machine. It's moving very, very quickly. And there's something like 2.2 million cells can be made in this factory per day. So there's loads of these machines all the way along here and all the way down here. It's on a vast scale. Now we've seen all these materials getting sliced up and they've been brought into this room ready to be made into a cell. So on this side, I've got aluminium coated in a cathode material. And over here, I have copper covered in an anode material. Then what happens next? Unfortunately, we can't show you. It's a massive secret something that CATL obviously don't want to share with their competitors. But what essentially happens is those big long strips get wrapped around each other like this until it forms this. And this is what they call a jelly roll. And it's very flexible, but this is basically a finished battery cell. You've got your anodes and your cathode ears at the top there, but that is what is sitting in your electric car outside. 
incredible technology. It actually almost seems too simple. But there's a lot of processes that went into this, a lot of research. Awesome, just absolutely amazing. So batteries are clearly at the center of everything that CATL does. Now at this point, the two jelly rolls have been brought together and now they're being capped off with this silver casing. So they'll go on to be heated and treated in the next step. Now this bit is extremely exciting because what I'm going to show you looks like a secret villain's lair. Come with me. Check this out. This is the baking room. So the cells are together now and they need to make sure there's no moisture in the cells. So you come through here and essentially get baked before going on to the next stage. Now at this stage, the electrolytes are being put into the batteries. The room smells a little bit. All of the cells are coming through quite quickly to have the electrolytes put inside. There's a lot of parts of this process that I don't understand, and then a lot of it seems quite simple at the same time. But incredibly complex machines, doing many, many thousands of things per hour, and then at the end, you get these batteries. Mind-blowing. One of the biggest areas of growth for CATL is likely to be in this battery energy storage solution, or BEST. If you're lucky enough to have a Tesla power wall at home, it more than likely has a CATL cell on the inside. And these cells are finding themselves across the world now. Imogen recently went to the UK to see a pack similar to this, a Tesla mega pack, stuffed full of batteries. And this is what's the most exciting part about greening our grid. And it's these innovations which are going to make the most difference in the next few years. In this episode, we took a glimpse into how CATL builds its batteries, the power source that drives China's EV industry from within each vehicle. But China's rise as a dominant force in the global EV market is shaped more than what happens inside the car. China also built a powerful external ecosystem around it. Let's take a closer look at that next. Subscribe to our channel and do not miss the next episode.